Hello, 11 o'clockers. How is everybody today? Great. Sunday salutations, everyone. It's good to see you all here this morning. Hi, Michaela and Janelle and Matt. Good morning, Methodists who like to sleep in on Sundays. What's <laughs> happening? Well, I'll tell you what's happening. We're doing the parable of the lost sheep today as the next one in our series on Jesus' parable of lost things. Yay, I love this parable. But what is that racket? You don't have a real sheep here this morning, do we? Well, as a matter of fact, we do. See? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, John, but that's not a real sheep. What do you mean it's not real? It's right here, isn't it? <laughs> and you can see it? It's not a figment of your imagination. It's as real as Mr. Snuffles here, my teddy bear that I sleep with. <laughs> um, but there is a difference. <laughs> Between what? Between different types of real. Yeah, there's real real, as in living, breathing things real. And then there's us real, as in, as in stuffed animals friends real, which is another kind of real, as many kids will well know. Exactly. So this is a real stuffed animal sheep friend who's going to be in the college skit today to help us do the parable of the lost sheep. <laughs> and who happens to be a ventriloquist. A what? A ventriloquist throwing her voice since the bag I hear is coming from out there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's just Matt making, back there making noise to symbolize the not lost sheep so that we can get on with this one as the lost sheep. Oh. So Michaela, you be the shepherd. Okay. And we'll have this sheep wander off over here. <laughs> and you are counting your sheep for the night. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Hey, where's number one hundred? Okay, I better count again just to make sure. One. Oh, right. I am already sure. <gasps> I'm missing one sheep. Oh no, I've got to find it. And it's and it's Miller Sweetie. And Paul and Peter and Mary. <gasps> Lumpkins! Oh no, where are you, Lumpkins? She must have got lost. I have to find her to keep her safe for the night. She must be lonely and scared. Oh no. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Pat Dusenberry, and I raise sheep at my ranch. And I'm looking for my sheep that was lost. His name is Early because he came two months early before my lambing regular schedule time. Oh, wow. I've lost a sheep, too. That's weird. Stuffed animal-friendly reality and Sunday school reality have come together in some kind of cosmic convergence. <laughs> but what would your lost sheep be doing at church? Well, I brought him in today for all the Sunday school kids to see so that they could see what a real sheep looks like. And he seems to have escaped. But I think I see him there he is. Oh, early. What are you doing? It? Oh, I'm so glad I'm found. <laughs> and I found you, Lumpkins. Wait a minute. You're not Lumpkins. You're really. <laughs>
This is so cool. Stuffed animal friend reality and real reality coming together. The same way we all come together at church every week. And the same way that the kingdom of heaven and our life on this earth come together in Jesus. Where everyone meets in Jesus' loving arms, which is something to celebrate every single day of our lives. And now, is this a great day or what? Yeah.